this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur. <laughs> what? Locate Benjamin Franklin again? I have to save his ass more than once. <laughs> seeing a whole lot here. Starity! There we go. What are you doing? I have no quarrel with you. You, uncultured swine, you should not have left your backwater colony. Well, I don't have a Wait, I gotta do I gotta do it. I gotta get this. Heck yeah. Too easy. Shay? Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. What? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Oh my god, no! Oh my goodness, that was so clutch. <laughs> Come on, Benjamin. Let's hustle. Thank you, Shay. Please, wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. What? Okay, there we go. something I'm getting somewhere time to go up oh wow oh my goodness another clutch <laughs> oh wait a minute I spotted one Sort of. Boom. Heck yeah. How? How did you do that? It yeah, was quite fortunate. I make my own luck, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. 
And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. Thank you, sir. What the hell? You guys see that memory name, right? I should have out them. Okay. <laughs> that last two one. trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Thank you. Jay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you have seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but tree these temples hold the earth together like roots disturb them and haiti falls or lisbon or any other place the manuscript shows and the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures Aye. and if we don't stop them they'll continue destroying cities i see we have intelligence of assassin activity near Lubeburg fortress We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect he will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Understood, sir. How much time has passed since uh, the last <clears throat> the last sequen sequence finished? God. I know she said 1777 in Paris, but that doesn't really help too much. America still colonized, so you, that gives you some sort of time of frame, but uh, not much to go with. Yes. Do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, oh my he's lord, very have 35 and minutes. ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duly noted. Yeah, thank you for the heads up, I guess. To the All right, and skip. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damn continent. I fear it would take more than that, friend. Frenchman say wait for it acres of snow he underestimated greatly okay now all right now I skip Whoa, 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 whoa. 
That was way too close. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it didn't hit me. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's over here? Oh, hell no, I'm not going after that. What's over here, though? Ah, I'm good. That's No, that's just way too tough. The man of war you should never fight until you're maxed out. Ma until you're maxed out. That thing has an enormous amount of health. It is not fun fighting it. I have no mortars. Mortar. I have no shots. Or ammo. Sorry. There she is. The HMS Pembroke. Captain James Cook's ship. She's a beauty. Man of war. Fully armed. We should bring the Morrigan alongside. Master Kenway will surely be waiting. Men of war? Really? Really? That was lame. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shay Cormac? Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack... Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting the That is very generous of you. Uh, that is very power. generous. I believe I shall. Captain. That is too cool. I want this thing right now. Can I fight the other man of war? That would be way too overpowered. Looks like the fighting already happened. Okay, 1758. Alright, we got a year. Oh, it's before I saved Benjamin Franklin again.